In this video, I will give you a quick intro to Flow, a blockchain for NFTs and games. Flow is already used by very popular NFT projects like CryptoKitties and NBA Top Shots, and it's the fourth blockchain by NFT sales volume. If you are new here, I'm Julian, and I'll eat the blocks that help Web2 developers transition into Web3. Flow was launched in 2019 by Dapper Labs, the company behind famous NFT projects like CryptoKitties and NBA Top Shots. It was created as a fast, developer-friendly alternative to Ethereum for building NFTs and games. Flow doesn't believe in the sharding model of modern blockchains like Polkadot or Ethereum 2.0. Flow asks that this model will degrade the user experience and create problems for developers because of asynchronous execution between shards. That's why Flow created its own architecture to achieve high scalability. With Flow, there are different nodes with different responsibilities. Execution nodes perform the computation associated with each transaction. Consensus nodes order transactions on the blockchain. Verification nodes check the validity of transactions. And collection nodes enhance network connectivity and data availability for dApps. And to keep the blockchain synchronized, Flow uses its own proof of stake consensus algorithm called Hot Stuff. Flow is also the name of the native token of the blockchain with a market cap of $2.5 billion. The Flow token has multiple use cases such as staking for the proof of stake mechanism, transaction fees, and governance. Because the team that has built Flow also dog-footed the blockchain by building the first application project like CryptoKitties or NBN Top Shot, they really care about the developer experience. Smart contracts in Flow are written in a programming language called Cadence. It's a language with a syntax similar to JavaScript. Fungible tokens and non-fungible tokens are the flow equivalent of Ethereum ERC20 and ERC721 respectively. To connect with the Flow blockchain, you can use the Flow client library, a JavaScript SDK that uses the JSON RPC and WebSocket API of Flow. There are also SDKs for Go and Java and an official VS Code extension. For development, you can use the Flow emulator and the FCL developer wallet to interact with a local Flow network. Flow Scan is the block explorer for Flow and it also has an official test net for deploying and testing smart contracts. So that's it for this quick intro to Flow. Hey, I'm curious, what do you think of Flow? Do you think it will become the blockchain for NFTs and games? Let me know in the comments down below. Bye.